Attack submarines will become more effective thanks to the Razorback UUVs, unmanned underwater vehicles, which will protect the larger submarines and their missile payloads better. The US Navy is finally adding underwater drones to its fleet of nuclear attack submarines. Submarines in the fleet will now be able to utilize torpedo tubes to launch and recover the new version of the Navy's Razorback UUV. In addition, Razorbacks with sonar systems of their own will allow naval submarines to seek out enemy ships and submarines without inadvertently revealing themselves. The U.S. Naval Institute News reported that the Navy wanted to add UUVs to its submarines but was stymied by technical issues. Deploying the Razorback drone from a torpedo tube has been challenging. Recovering it after a mission has been difficult, as divers in a dry dock shelter DDS, a hump-shaped module that allows divers to enter and exit submarines underwater, have been the only options. The Razorback has been restricted in its ability to deploy due to the limited number of submarines carrying a DDS. The Navy has reportedly figured out how to recover a Razorback submarine in the same manner it came out, through a torpedo tube. Rear Admiral Casey Motone, Executive Program Officer for Unmanned and Small Combatants, told Usney News that the process is functional and will soon be operational. Sailors are seen carrying a Mark 48 torpedo from the pier to the Los Angeles-class attack submarine USS Olympia SSN-717, in Sauda Bay, Greece, July 2019. A Razorback drone would be transported in a similar way if it was on board a submarine. Huntington Ingalls Industries HII, a submarine, aircraft carrier, an amphibious warship manufacturer, builds the Razorback. It is a medium unmanned undersea vehicle based on the HII Remus 600 UUV. The 600 in the Remus's name refers to the Remus 600's diving depth in meters or 1,968 feet. This unmanned, autonomous drone can operate independently for up to 24 hours. The Remus 600 submarine is outfitted with dual-frequency side scan sonar arrays that allow the sub to scan to either side as it moves through the water. Because of this, the submarine's underwater noise is more difficult to detect and track than that made by a crude sub.